Magandang umaga po sa inyo na at uh, good morning to everyone from the from Korea and from the Philippines and from the Korea Research Center. Uh, I'd like to read the, the message of our president, Attorney Filipino El Tarisaba Concepcion, to this particular event. I am pleased to be back welcoming the public to the Philippine Koreanist Congress. Glad that we have what was started last year has continued and grown. Congratulations to the University of the Philippines Korea Research Center for sustaining this new academic tradition. I realize the big amount of research work that you have before you as Korea continues to be a global influence. If the interrelations of the republics of Korea and of the Philippines grow richer by the day, and I am grateful that as visible today, we have a mass of Koreanists in this nexus of Philippine-Korean lives. I see new and familiar places. I welcome you all to the Philippines and to the University of the Philippines, honored by the hard work and networks you bring with, uh, with you. I welcome back uh, our, well, like the ambassador, I welcome back our consul here, our consul uh, Nan Hyung Moon from the embassy, and I say that this is the best way that the academy can celebrate the 70 years of both our embassies contribute to Korean studies and to international understanding. With these studies, people become less and less strangers to each other. Our bonds increase with knowledge and recognition of things we share or we have given to each other. For us Filipinos, the study of diasporas is urgent and personal. At any given time, there are 8 to 10 million of us away from the motherland, many of Obaa. Many at 2.3 million are overseas workers. But the topics interest us more for having the Philippines study as a destination. The lens is reversed, and this is something new and exciting. For how they have treated newcomers is surely a mirror to our own self-image. On that note, I would like to especially welcome our keynote speaker, Dr. Dr. Chu Wu Li, who previously resided in Manila and I discovered when his wife, a medical doctor like myself, was actually posted at the World Health Organization a Western Pacific Regional Office near my hospital, near the University of the Philippines, Manila, where I, I actually taught. Thank you very much for coming back to this meaningful occasion. Imagining nationhood and citizenship is a mandate of the Philippines National University. That university, the University of the Philippines, is also envisioned as the country's regional and global university. Thus, it will continue supporting Korean studies in the Philippines. The UP president remains a member of the advisory board of the Korean Studies Association of Southeast Asia, and the UP International Linkages uh, Director, Phil Hacinto, of the International Organizing Committee of UP, also had the honor to be host of the Posasa Bayino Inter International Conference. From 18 as of the last Congress to 31 of, as of last December, agreements between UP and Korean universities it continue to be forged and implemented and sought on top of six between UP and other Korean organizations. Symposia on Philippine Korean Studies have been held since 2012, courtesy of UP Diliman Department of Linguistics, the Korean Cultural Center, and now the UP. Korea Research Center. The same UP department has been enriching Korean studies through research, program offerings, and popular extramural classes on the Korean language. On that note, the University of the Philippines is proud to be home to Koreanists. Welcome to, to your second Congress and a joyful 70th anniversary to all. Thank you very much.